Oh, hey, I didn't see you come in. Come on, sit down. Or just stand there, that's fine. Either way, we've got to talk. I am, once again, facing the inevitability of losing my shop space permanently. I've been in this shop for uh, around two years, maybe. And I've learned a lot in this shop. You've not seen very much of this shop. I haven't. I, I've been busy uh, being really depressed. Sorry. It's a melancholy day. Uh, actually, it's been a melancholy few years uh, since you last saw me. But there's hope. I am about to pick up and move to a new shop because I'm being evicted. But that's okay because I'm moving into a new shop. Maybe. And, um, and at that point, I, I can't afford to not be working all the time on this, on my shop, on my craft. So I'm, I'm going to be working hard, maybe not necessarily producing videos. I'll be posting more on Instagram. I'll be forging a lot more. I'll be making a lot more knives and swords and ornamental blacksmithing work. I, I don't really have a choice. If I want to stay sane and start making mo enough money to fund my shop, really. Um, but the future is a bit, how would you say, uncertain at the moment. Presently fleeing the fire. How? What? What are your thoughts on this? <laughs> it's been a rough time for all of us here at the. It's nice. Me too, buddy. It's okay. It's that F two fifty over there. Okay, fluid's coming from there. It's dripping pretty bad. It's kind of an orangish fluid. Steering stopped working. Uh, brakes stopped working. And it was making weird sounds as though it was struggling to, I don't know, exist. So we're stuck here for now. Wish me luck. Good news is, our shit didn't burn down. We bought a truck, rented a trailer, and now all I have to do is move all of this. And you might be saying to yourself, hey man, where is your, where is your 2x72 grinder and your forge and your anvil and your six inch Wilton vise? Well, that's a great question. You see, when we were fleeing the fire this second time, I decided to take some of the key components of the shop so that if I did lose everything again, I'd have some feet to get back up onto. I'm sure it's real difficult for you to imagine what it looks like to move two tables and a drill press. So that's what we're gonna do for the rest of my stuff. Hello. It's been a long time since we've seen each other. And things are different now. I mean, the same, relatively, but different. Different time and place. Different surroundings, different me at a different time and place. So anyway, this is the new shop. Oh my god, there's leaves. There's seasons, that's crazy. Let me show you around. Ta-da! The lumber is just in here for a fragrance. 
strategically placed the table directly under one of the only lights in the building. Ah, there we are. Ah, oh, nice and stained, just like the table. Guess what? I can have tools. Crazy, huh? I'm stoked. Now let's hope that while I'm grinding, I don't accidentally fall into the pit of despair. I've been working on getting this back wall off of the wall in order to get inside the wall and put some insulation in the wall. To my surprise, there is insulation in there, but it's the fiberglass crap and it's a hundred billion years old. So I'll be replacing it with this stuff. This is uh, not fiberglass, it's rock wool insulation, and its purpose is for sound insulation. So I'm just gonna be working on this for the next 10 million years, except I have to start on that side because the boards don't like to come up from the previous, or the, you know what I'm talking about. Now onto the thing I actually wanted to do today, which is to remove all of these boards and then uh, get some actual insulation in there. This is going to take a long time. I want to document what we're doing on this party wall. I mean, I would rather spend the money on insulating this wall in order to prevent them from being able to say anything about the noise that I'm making. But if that happens, I'll be ready for it. I'll be waiting. You tell them I'm, uh, you tell them. It's just the, in, the leftover insulation from doing that wall that's behind you. this day that an eight foot long piece exactly covers this span. Maybe the gods smile or maybe it's a coincidence. Who's to say really?
I was afraid it would wobble. The next problem is how am I going to get that drill press on that stand without killing myself and everyone in a 50 mile radius? All right, take two. Oh, something, something's not right. Are you ready? Three. Two. No! Oh, There's light. Oh, it's so pretty. I've taken a second line out of the panel, it's up by that bright ass window, into the junction box way over there and put these outlets in. I've got, on a 15 amp circuit, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. The only place I have to run circuits is along this wall. So uh, it's time to put this wall back together, finally. I'm running 20 amp over here so that my grinder, my drill press, my lathe, and my uh, blender can all run on 20 amp power. It's finally done. This, this, this 20 amp line over here has been a pain in my dick hole. Now all that's left to do is turn on the brake. Oh, I didn't even hook it up. I didn't even hook it up to the breaker yet. What a, what a freaking maroon. What am I doing? This is the 50 amp, 50 amp two pole breaker for my welder. But I haven't been able to get wire for it. I need the same MC stuff, but nobody carries it. Okay, it's three and a half minutes later. I'm ready to see if I've bungled anything irreparably. Are you ready? I think we're okay. Man, these fresh 20 amp outlets are seriously tough. Ta da! dug a hole. Yep, you heard right. I'm a filthy digger. I, I dig a lot. It's only here though. All right, boys. Got my bolts. Got me timber. Now we've just got to drill a wee hole through that, through that. 
then down that way through there. All right, but uh, you think my drill bit's long enough, boys? I didn't think so. I think I need to get a longer bit. All right, well, I'll get this in there, get put that in the ground, order some, or, or, order, order. I'm gonna fucking order some dirt, laddie. Put it in the hole. Fucking be done with it. Didn't care. The bottom of this anvil has a lip all around the outside. And given that it's not parallel to the face, I can grind down that lip on one side, reasonably level right there, okay? Now here, not even close. You understand, it's, it's all sorts of fucked up. We'll see, I, I gotta get it out the hole first. I'm going to take these two pieces of wood and screw them to this piece of wood here and here. That way, I have a guide for where to, to make the cut with my chainsaw. There's no guarantee that I won't just cut right through these, these things, but I'm afraid that if I put metal, if I put metal guides on, I'm just going to wreck the blade of the chainsaw. I have no idea if this is going to work. Two and a half. Okay. I'll make a two and a half inch cut on, on the top, just to face it off, assuming this works.
like it's time for a bigger set of drill bits. This is fantastic. You see that over there? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking what I'm thinking. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm thinking what I'm thinking. And I'm thinking, it's time to forge something. Thank mm -hmm. you.